I think I will have three soft show tacos, please. Sure thing. Say, this reminds me of a project I'm doing. It deals with science. Oh boy. I love Taco Bell's food because it is simply the best. Of course it sure is. Yes. Oh no! Did you know that John Dalton said that atoms cannot be made or destroyed? And that all matter is made up of atoms? No, I didn't. Please, tell me more. You are coming with us, little girl. No, I won't, you meanie. Of course you will, because I won't get paid if I don't bring you along. There is even something called a plum pudding model, which describes the pudding as a positive charge and the plums as the electrons. It was supposed to be the model of an atom. That is so exciting, I am shaking in my clothes. I know, isn't it great? Oh look, the little Chinese man is here. Don't worry, Pete. I will take care of him. Cause you can't do nothing, you good for nothing pig. Yeah! 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 Ernest Rutherford came up with the theory that there is one positive central nucleus that is surrounded by nature. Also, electrons travel in things called orbits. Sometimes they jump, but they will fall back, and as they do, they emit light. That is so. Cool. I can't even begin to describe my interest in your science knowledge. If you think that is cool, why do you hear this? Each atom has an energy field containing electrons. The first level has two electrons, the second has eight electrons, the third has 18 electrons, and the fourth has 32. But that doesn't mean that every atom has that many electrons. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Listen, not that this conversation isn't great, but I really need to be going. Okay, don't forget to come to Taco Bell for all of your taco needs. And by the way, because Pete and Melody started to fight over something boring like science. Let's eat. 